All right. Hey guys, it's Hannah. We are going for a little drive. We're going to the gym. This is a video I've been meaning to make for like, I don't know, a year or so, but I just haven't gotten to it because life. Um, in nursing school, I worked full time. I am a competitive weightlifter. I ride horses. It's just hard to find time. So while I'm driving, which is about the only time I have, I figured I would make this video. So about three years ago, I made a video explaining why I have a pacemaker. Um, just kind of that whole process, super long video. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that to give background. But a lot of people have been like, hey, that was three years ago. What's the deal now? So that's what we're going to talk about. Let's see, I got a pacemaker implanted in 2014. This is 2018. I'm actually coming up on my four year hardiversary, as I like to call it. By now, I feel like we're pretty set. I've got my settings. We haven't changed them in a couple years. Um, I'm pretty much good to go. I forget sometimes that I have a pacemaker, other than when I have to go, you know, around the metal detectors since I can't go through them. I live my life. I'm a competitive weightlifter, like I said. I ride horses. Um, so it's not really stopping me from doing any activities, which is good because that was one of my fears. I'm 28 now and I've got a device meant for 80 something year olds. So am I going to be able to still be active? And the answer is yes. The only thing we did a while back is set the settings for the higher end of my heart rate, like really high. I think like 180 or 190 because what was happening was I was working out at the time I was playing tennis and it would pace me when I was being active and I was like that's just not gonna work for me because that's not my problem anyways I have a problem with bradycardia um, where I went into asystole complete fat flat line so my problem is not a high heart rate I'm not tacky so why don't we change the settings because that's not the issue anyway so we did I haven't touched it since and now I can just do my sports and, and I don't have a problem I don't even notice the pacemaker a lot of people ask me if I can feel it um, the answer is still yes. I would say I'm probably more accustomed to it. Now I'm kind of like, it's a thing, it's there. If I'm really not feeling well on a day, maybe I'll notice it. But for the most part, I don't notice it doing its job. So that's a good thing. In the last year or so, and I guess I should knock on wood, <laughs> um, I really haven't had many bad days where I feel, uh, you know, lightheaded or um, real shaky or anything like that, which is the sign of the low heart rate and, and low bl blood pressure. If it does happen, I know how to handle it. Increased sodium intake, Gatorade, which has electrolytes, and sometimes I've even put salt into my Gatorade, which doesn't taste good and gets a lot of weird looks, <laughs> but um, it, it definitely raises the, the blood pressure and whatnot, so, so that's one thing I do to manage that. I'd say I'm probably not gonna have to have the, the battery change for a while so they usually say about 10 years and the last time I went in which was last year I actually should be due to go in the next couple of months I only use my pacemaker 10 to 12 percent of the time which is really abnormal for people that have pacemakers usually when you have a pacemaker it's the older demographic and you're using it like 80 to 90 percent of the time like your heart can't function without it that's not the case for me when I use it it's because my heart rate is below 40 beats per minute which is getting really low and on its way to me losing consciousness. So it's really important that I have it so that I can come back up to a normal rate. Um, but that only happens every so often. So that's something that's nice that hopefully I will have, I won't have to have as many surgeries to change out the, uh, the battery pack. Um, the leads are set, you know, pending something crazy happens. Um, I should never have to do anything with those. The only th other thing that I say would, uh, that I, you know, do differently now that I have a pacemaker I'm much more aware of um, just general heart disease. Um, that's not something I have. I have an electrical problem, so it's not heart disease per se, um, but it kind of falls into the same bucket. So um, one thing that I do every year is I participate in the um, American Heart Association Heart Walk um, in my St. Louis area. So I fundraise every year. And then I also, at my work, um, you know, start a team and help us kind of run our own fundraising campaign. So that's something I've been very active in since I got a pacemaker. Um, and it's pretty cool. They give me a, a cool little survivor shirt. Um, and then as a hospital, we do a huge uh, initiative to educate the community 
about heart, dis heart disease and then stroke because the two are very much related. Um, so that's one thing that I've, I've done each year since I've got a pacemaker implanted, which has been pretty cool to see other people who've been affected um, by heart conditions, heart disease, and stroke. It's kind of a cool uh, way to be united with other folks that have, are going through um, similar experiences. And along the same uh, vein of, of kind of having folks that you can uh, relate to, I've actually had several people reach out to me um, relatively recently, which is kind of what sparked me making this video, um, just asking me questions um, as a young person who has a pacemaker. So I've actually had uh, two different people that I graduated college from that were like, hey, you, you know, I see that you post on Facebook that you have a pacemaker, like uh, I have a condition where I might need one, can you talk about it a little bit? So I usually send them the original video I did um, and then just, you know, answer any questions. So um, that's been something that's been really cool and literally having almost the same experience in terms of, um, you know, not knowing what's going on and then having all of these conditions you think it's instead of your heart, like, uh, one woman was telling me, you know, everyone was saying that I have anxiety. I'm like, oh, that sounds so familiar. Uh, everyone kept telling me it was anxiety. And I'm like, I'm telling you, this is something more than that. Um, so that's been pretty cool. And, and that's kind of why I made this video too, as a follow up um, to just kind of say like, young people with face makers, you're not alone. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of all I got. Happy to answer um, any specific questions about my experience, my medical team, um, my sports and activities, any of that. Um, Cause like I said, I know there aren't many folks that, you know, are more active and, and have to uh, figure out how to make that work with a pacemaker. So that's kind of all I got. I appreciate you giving it uh, a watch. Um, if you like it, hit, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe and uh, comment any questions you may have.